want us to learn a few things in Jesus' name. It's our culture in Uzima Center to read God's word as the preacher is reading. So kindly join with me. One, two, three. Then Jesse said to his son David, Take now for your brothers an ephah of this dried grain and these ten loaves and run to your brothers at the camp. And carry these ten cheeses to the captain of their thousand and see how your brothers fare and bring back news of them. Now Saul and they and all the men of Israel were in the valley of Erah fighting with the Philistines. So David rose early in the morning, left the ship with her keeper, and took the things and went as Jesse had commanded him. And he came to the camp as the army was going out to the fight and shouting for the battle. For Israel and the Philistines had drawn up in battle array, army against army. And David left his supplies in the hand of the supply keeper, ran to the army and came and greeted his brothers. Then as he talked with them, there was the champion, the Philistine of Gath, Goliath by the name, coming up from the armies of the Philistines, and he spoke according to the same words. So David had them. And all the men of Israel, when they saw the man, fled from him and were dreadfully afraid. So the men of Israel said, have you seen this man who has come up? Surely he has come up to defy Israel. And it shall be that the man who kills him with the king will enrich with great riches, will give him his daughter and give his daughter father's house exemption from taxes in Israel. Then David spoke to the men who stood by him saying, what shall be done for the man who kills this Philistine and takes away the reproach from Israel? For who is this uncircumcised Philistine that he should defy the armies of the living God? And the people answered him in this manner, saying, So shall it be done for the man who kills him. Now Eliab, his oldest brother, heard when he spoke to the men. And Eliab's anger was aroused against David. And he said, Why did you come down here? And with whom have you left those few sheep in the wilderness? I know your pride and the insolence of your heart. For you have come down to see the battle. Let's just stand there for a minute. Or hold there for a minute. It's quite a long text, but I want us to just hold there. And from verse 17, we see David being sent by his father, Jesse, to go and take a food or refreshment to his brothers in the battlefield. His brothers were in the army. They were fighting in the army of Israel. And for 40 days, Goliath mocked defy the armies of the Lord and every morning he was shouting give me a man that I might fight him. If I defeat him you become our, our, our subjects. If you defeat us we become your subjects. And for 40 days every morning the, uh, Goliath came and nobody was willing to take up the challenge. They were fearful. No one was ready to take up the challenge. And as where we have started David is sent by his father and he ran with the food. He came to the battlefield. And he was listening to the blasphemies and the shoutings. And he started to inquire what was going on. My emphasis is on verse 28. His, his, brother, uh, his brother David asked him, who is Eliab? Why did you come down here? And with whom have you left those few sheep? in the wilderness. As we continue pursuing purpose, our free arise that our purpose is intertwined in another man's purpose. The Lord will, you, the, the Lord will not wake you up one morning and tell you, head north. I have given you an assignment. The Lord will always send you to a man or a woman and as you serve him, as you walk with him, the clarity of God's purpose will become clear and clear every day. So David was serving his father. And it is amazing. All his other brothers were built up. They were in the army. Remind us this morning. The Lord has given you servants to serve. The Lord has taken you in your workplace to do what you are doing. And as you become faithful every day. 
the clarity of God's every but to serve where you are serving and be diligent to diligent to learn because the Lord is preparing you for your own in Jesus name the Lord is preparing you for your own Genesis 37 verse 1 Genesis 37 verse 1 we see another man here called Joseph Genesis now Jacob dwelt in the land where his father was a stranger in the land of Canaan. This is the history of Jacob. Joseph, being 17 years old, was feeding the flock with his with so one sentence about Jacob and then full stop. And then we are introduced to Joseph, barely 17 years. And I believe with all my heart I will do research, but I believe by the time David was killing Goliath, was still in around these years, around 17 about the youth age, around that time. And we are told here that Joseph was feeding the flock with his brothers. Joseph was feeding the flock of his father. And as he was feeding the flock of his father, things came. God started to appear to him in dreams. But he was faithful in his father's house, tending the sheep of his father. My first point this morning to you is to serve in your father's house. Be diligent to serve another man's purpose. God will reveal man, man in Jesus' name. He, from his shoulders upward, he was a taller than any of the people. So he passed through the mountains of Ephraim and through the land of Shalisha, but they had not found them. Then they passed through the land of Sharim and they were not 